You're not too needy for wanting someone to care when you're hurt, or respect you during a conflict, or to express their love for you through consistent words and actions, or someone that wants you to feel safe and valued and prioritized. In today's world, that's seen as going above and beyond, but it's not. It's the bare minimum of love. If you're married and you can't have safe talks with your partner, that's an automatic trip to the counselor. And if you're dating and someone calls you too needy, as hurtful as that feels, it's actually not a bad thing because they're telling you right now, I'm not planning on meeting your needs and I'm not going to counseling with you either because you're the one that has the problem. So at that point, you have two options. You can believe that you're a deeply flawed individual who doesn't really deserve to be understood or validated and that you're crazy for expecting the bare minimum levels of consideration and reciprocation from someone who says they love you or they have no desire to learn about or practice emotional maturity or empathy or intimacy or shared power or mutual respect or sacrificial love. Which one have you been believing? Because it might be time to reevaluate. Now we always talk about bare minimum effort when it comes to guys and I'm, your feelings are valid. But we rarely ever talk about the bare minimum effort that a lot of women give and they don't understand that is what's hindering the relationship and or making that man wanting to take more steps and move on with that relationship. Now, does this man need to communicate that his needs aren't being met? Absolutely, but as we know, some men are scared to communicate with their women. Why? I don't know. You better put some bass in your voice and or say with your chest. But I do know this, a lot of women are not coachable. A lot of you get in your feelings when your man tries to respectfully criticize you and let you know the behavior that you're displaying he doesn't like and you're taking it as him attacking you when the only thing he's doing is expressing his feelings. You know, the same way that you try to express your feelings to him and sometimes he doesn't know how to understand your feelings, you guys do the exact same thing. So once again, a lot of the problems we have met. And when you love somebody, it says you're worth it. You want to give them as much love as you wanted to give them when you tried to get with them. And you want to continue that love and love them forever. Men and women do it, but we're always pointing the finger at men because why? A lot of women think they're perfect. And in reality, yes, women can be narcissistic as well. I have a question for the men. Why go over the top? I'm talking above and beyond to get this woman, get her, and then start giving her the bare minimum. For example, all of a sudden, you don't know how to communicate. But in the beginning, you knew how to communicate well. You was consistent on the communication. All of a sudden, you don't know how to encourage. But you was very encouraging in the beginning. Everything going to be all right. I got you. I'm gonna... You knew how to do all of that. All of a sudden, you don't know how to compliment. When all you... Real quick, drip check. That's a dope hoodie. Nice hat. I like the way you put it together. Especially as a little oversized. Very dope. Continue did was give her compliments good morning beautiful what happened to all of that all the financial gestures like when she goes to get her hair done you ask her how much was it she tell you how much was you automatically pow, hit her with the cash app and giving her hand oh i went and got my nails done how much was they babe that was a 60 ball you automatic pow, hit her with the 30 ball what happened to all that why do we go above and beyond in the beginning get them start giving them the bare minimum Things that are the bare minimum in a relationship from your boyfriend to you. And it's only coming from that way because I'm a girl and it's my opinion. Number one, he opens and holds the door for you. He walks in first and he opens, well, doesn't walk in first, but he opens it for you and you can walk in. He holds the door. He's the man. Number two, he waits for you to get your food as well before he starts eating. And right piggybacking on that is he lets you order first. Girls go first, girls get offered everything first. Let your woman order first, get her drink first, get her food first before you because it is the polite thing to do. Number three is walking on the side of the road when you're on the sidewalk. So you're protecting them. You're making sure they're safe, they're in the inside of you. It's the littlest thing and it's not hard, but it is safety. Number four, paying for the first date. Now I understand everything's 50-50 and when I'm in a relationship, I go 50-50 on every meal, everything that we do, just because our relationship should be 50-50 or 100-100. But on the first meal, I don't know if I'm just old school, but the man should pay. Please, dear God, remember her birthday. Okay, the amount of men that do not remember their significant other's birthday is embarrassing. 
okay? Remember her birthday. Remember the day that you started dating or you got married or whatever that event is. Remember it and just send flowers. Even if you're not doing gifts, send flowers. Also, another date that you have to remember is her period. That week that it normally is. It's normally either in the beginning of the month or the end of the month. Once it happens once, write it down somewhere. Write it in a notes app of your phone and be a little bit more kinder to her and a little bit more patient. Now, some people are going to disagree with me on this, but I think that it should be a priority that you remember your significant other's phone number and address. When it's their birthday or something, you're probably going to want to send them something at some point or God forbid something happens to them and you need to call someone to go to their house. You want another address and you want another phone number because God forbid your phone dies and you need to keep your significant other updated and God forbid your phone just shuts off or something happens and you need to call them or you need to let them know something. And last but certainly not least, you should be that girl's biggest cheerleader. For all of her little, small, big, ginormous wins in her life, you need to be that girl's supporter, even if they're not as big as yours are. Because I can guarantee she'll be there for you, or she should be there for you for all of your wins, but even if they are smaller than yours, she's still working just as hard or more for those wins, so celebrate. Let's talk about things that I think are just bare minimum in a relationship. And yes, I'm on the ground. First things first, I think getting your girlfriend flowers is very much the bare minimum. Like, 3 for 12. Like, I'm pretty sure you've all seen that video of that girl making flowers literally in her car. Like, it's so simple and so cheap. You could pick flowers off the side of the road for all they care. Another thing I think is, like, just very much bare minimum is paying for everything while you guys are out. Like, a girl should never have to pull out her wallet when she's out. You should be the one paying. You're the guy. Another thing I think is very much bare minimum is her with a girl she should be able to turn her mind off when she's with you because if you're if she's the one like putting so much effort in and her mind's always everywhere you're gonna get a girlfriend who's always like aggravated always like nagging at you but she should be able to like turn off her brain when she's with you like just completely off bring her wallet anywhere she shouldn't have to like remember certain things she you should just be doing it for her another thing i think is bare minimum is little surprises it doesn't have to be anything major either just like little gifts that you think of her little hints throughout the day that you're like thinking of her like a little i miss you text or a little note like it doesn't take that much effort it's just plain old chivalry another thing is opening the door for me personally i don't care if you open or close my door sometimes like yeah I'll do it like my boyfriend will do it on occasion or if there's a restaurant door or anything you should be walking first and opening the door for her like Open the restroom, restaurant doors, store doors, anything like that, you should be opening it for her, if that makes sense. Another thing I think is just a plain old given is catering to their love language. Like obviously everyone has different love languages and everyone has a little bit of each, but cater to each one just a little bit. The last thing I want to say for this video is planning dates. It should be bare minimum for the guy to literally go and plan the dates for the girl, tell her to be ready at this time. A girl shouldn't have to be like, oh, like, our date's on this day. Like I said, girls shouldn't be planning anything. Like, yeah, if she, she wants to do something, you, like, plan it for her. For her, like, you go and plan it and tell her, like, hey, get ready at this time. Like, this girl is going to give you her loyalty, be the mother of her kids, be the one there for you, and you should be doing all these things for her because she's doing all that for you. You're getting someone who will cherish you, who will love you, and all that. So unless you guys want a girl that's always nagging at you, picking at you, and you guys complaining that she's like always coming at you for things, maybe, maybe do something that's good for her, you know? If you had a past relationship or you were deprived, maybe you wanted the guy to give you more affection, maybe you wanted him to call you more, you wanted more date nights, right? When you get into a new relationship or you meet someone else, don't start giving out all of these brownie points and cookies for a bare minimum 20% behavior. Girl, I really like him. He call me every day. Baby, that's the bare minimum. And yes, we want to affirm that behavior, but this is not something that should have you skipping down the street in your soul and over the moon, okay? You were starved out in your past relationship. Baby, it's an illusion. We don't want to be tricked and bamboozled by bare minimum. Make a list of all the things you like, you need, you desire. And you want to make that the baseline, baby, to even talk to you, okay? To even be in your orbit, all right? Don't lowball yourself. Look, I've been saying this for decades. Taking a woman out is literally the bare minimum. Buying her flowers 
is literally the bare minimum. Getting her gifts is literally the bare minimum. One thing that women have been doing that a lot of you guys don't realize is that they have been taking themselves out on dates. They've been buying themselves flowers and getting themselves the gifts and those shoes that they've always wanted and a car that they've been looking at for a while. They've already been doing that for themselves. There is nothing more that you can offer a woman than to be a man. That is one thing that y'all men of this generation lack. Y'all lack the capabilities of being a leader, being a provider, and being a man. But yet y'all expect women to be submissive to you, but you don't have anything to be submissive to. Make it make sense. If you actually want a woman to not be in her masculine era and be that soft feminine girl, you have to take her out of that. You got to bring her peace. Or else you're she's you're not going to get anything out of her. It, it's going to go nowhere. Because I'm going to tell you that if you think that a woman is going to give her all without anything in return, you're mistaken. And that's just how it is. Spending time with your woman when her love language is quality time is not just being in the same room with her. It is being intentional about the time you're spending. It don't have to be a lot. It just have to be quality, meaning you guys are doing a shared activity. Y'all are talking. Y'all are bonding over a movie. Quality time. Not just you sitting in the same house with her every single day. If your woman's love language is gifts. This don't just mean on birthdays and special occasions, anniversaries and holidays. This just means, oh, I grabbed you some flowers. I just thought about you. I saw something that I thought you would like. Just say Simple things. They don't got to be expensive or grand all the time. And you don't have to just do it when you're apologizing. Get her gifts because you know she likes gifts. Another thing. If your woman's love language is touch. She don't want you to just touch her when you want to do the nasty. When you want to do the freaky deaky. Touch her throughout the day. Hold her hand when y'all sitting in the car. T tap her little booty when she walking past you. That's called touch. Love language. Hugs. Not just when you want to be nasty. Oh my God. Touch her more than freaky deaky. If your woman's love language is acts of service, this means don't just do what you're supposed to do, like take out the trash, just do your chores. This means take the burden off her shoulder sometimes. When you know she had a rough day at work, you do some of the things. Put some gas in her tank. We'll get the car washed. Take care of the kids on a special day. And words of affirmation, don't just affirm her when she gets dressed and when she puts her makeup on and gets her hair done and do all the grand things. Tell her she's beautiful when she's laying in bed and she just woke up. Tell her she's doing a good job and you see her. You're actually paying attention to the details. Give her affirmations before she does anything that needs to be affirmed. Because sometimes in order to be inspired to do a better job, we have to know that we're already doing a good job. And that you see the little shit that we are already doing to keep you happy. Okay? Most people, not just women, most people desire all the love languages. All I'm saying is... Love excellently. Love with their whole heart. Stop doing the bare minimum and thinking that people should be satisfied. Stop doing the bare minimum and thinking that I told her she looks good. Yeah, when she gets stressed. I touch her. Yeah, when you want to be nasty. I buy her gifts. Yeah, when it's a special occasion. I spend time with her. Yeah, when she nags you. Do it because you know she loves it. Don't just do it because she's bitching about it or because it's a special occasion or because you don't want to hear her mouth. Do it because you love her and you know she likes it. Look, when the water boils to steam... Bare minimum time, bare minimum relationships, bare minimum lovers, all of that bare minimum stuff just shows and tells me that you don't want to be there. Because you can't treat the ones you love like it's just a part-time thing. You guys let me know if you have experienced this or been in a bare minimum relationship or just gave somebody your bare minimum energy that you just didn't want to extend it to them and tell me the reasons why. Leave your comments down below and you know we'll always talk about it on my morning show at 9 a.m. Love you guys. Stay tuned. Till next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.